Oh, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh. <laughs> when I was just a wee lad in a pram getting strolled around the Melbourne Zoo, I was pushed into the butterfly exhibit with my family to have a look at all the beautiful butterflies flip flapping around like the graceful creatures that they are. I was not having a good time because A, I didn't know what these things flapping around my restrained body were, and B, there were like f***ing heaps, bro. One landed on my leg, I screamed, I smacked it with my hand and killed it, and my parents removed me from the butterfly enclosure crying my eyes out. This is what I believe is the root of my motophobia. Motophobia, for those who don't know, is the irrational, and I understand that it's irrational, fear of butterflies and moths. If I see a butterfly out in the wild, I will avoid it. If it touches me, I won't scream and I won't cry because I am a grown ass man, but I will get instantly sweaty. I will uh, swing at it like we're in a bar fight and I will run before it latches onto me with its evil, evil face. I am okay with my fear around butterflies. I've even returned to the butterfly enclosure on almost every occasion I've been at the Melbourne Zoo as my friends will drag me in there for their own amusement. I will grip whoever is the closest and pray to whatever God I feel like believing in that day for the entire thing to just be over. I will spend the next few hours feeling them all over my body and I guarantee I won't sleep that night. Moths, or as I call them, homeless butterflies, are a whole other ball game. I promise you if there was a moth enclosure, I would burn it to the f***ing ground. Spiders in the house, I'll take care of them. Snake in the backyard, I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I've killed three snakes from the ages of like 16 to 28. We don't take risks with snakes and dogs and nieces and nephews, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about it. Intruders, I've got a metal table leg with a metal ring protrusion at the tip, so just fucking try me. All of these things, I am the go-to guy in the house. I can't stress enough how I do not touch moths and I make Beck kill them. I kill them, I mean it, like squish them and stomp them dead. And then I ask her to remove the head and stick it on a toothpick to send a warning to the rest. Although she absolutely refuses to pike their heads, which I think is utter bullshit. Why am I telling you guys all of this? Well, we are playing a little indie game called Moth House. Let's do it. <sighs> God, all right. Oh, ooh, shiver, damn, straight. I don't know if you guys can see it, it might be too dark. Or maybe, uh, <coughs> this is not okay. I'll bump up the brightness and you can see a moth just in the background there. I, it took me a second for my eyes to adjust and when I, stop it! No. When I saw it, my, my, sh my just shivered straight down my spine. I'm pressing start before anything else weird happens. Oh, okay, spine shiver again. I should get a countdown going of every time my spine gets a friggin' oh. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on an expedition. In the attached letter, there is a list with species of moths. F Come to my house and catch at least one of each species. Oh, I do not like this at all. I don't need to go back. I didn't realize this game is black and white. It's raining outside. This is very Soviet Russia. Hello. God, I'm okay with horror. Like, I'll scream if I get jumped, but I'm fine. It's just the, if a moth flies at me, I, this video might not ever come out, to be honest. Oh my God. Oh my God, that match is getting, oh, I gotta go. That match is, <laughs> oh my God, okay. That's fine, it was a moth. I wasn't scared because it was a moth, I was scared because it was a noise. Are you sure about that? Oh God, yucky. Yucky, yuck, yuck, yuck. I'm about to, oh. Use the mouse wheel to change items. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm going to get you. So what do I do? Just wait, hold on. Can I capture these moths? Ew. Oh, oh, there's a shiver. Shiver down the spine. So what do I need? What have I got? Oh, I've got them there. I've got eight American dagger moths, five leopard moths. Mm, this is another shiver down my spine. I can't stop it. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? You get just like lightning go down your spine when you're like either uncomfortable or uh, you, I'm sure you guys know. Let's get more. See, these are fine because they're so small. They don't even look like moths. Loads of moths. It was that big one that crawled across the- Oh! Oh, I get it. Oh God. Oh God. Do not like it. And I'll get all these moths too. You know what? Screw up. Oh, yuck. Thank you. If I don't need to get all the moths, grab them. I won't get them all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't seem like they fly away when you get close, which is nice. Oh my God. How could someone look at that and think, 
Oh, yum. I look at that and I literally think that's sick. That's what some people struggle to understand about the motophobia. Because people look at butterflies and they do think, Dear God, it's beautiful. But when I look at a butterfly or a moth, I literally think they're comparable to a spider. They're disgusting to me. I find them disgusting. And when you see those close-up pictures of them, I don't know how other people don't find them disgusting. Oh, God. God, yuck. Is this phasmophobia? Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths to, and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured the I don't care. Calm down. So 30 to 60 we're looking for. Is it what, like with the way I'm facing or when I'm in the room? Gross. Oh, that is so disgusting to me. Oh God, get him. Ugh. Oh, uh, what? Uh, just capture whatever you can get. Oh, shiver down the spine. Oh, oh, shiver down the spine. <laughs> Why is there a goose? It would have been so, couldn't it have been like, oh, son, I need you to catch as many donuts as you can. Well, I've got a hundred American dagger moth. That's so shiver up the spine, straight up the spine. Don't need that noise, thanks. Can you imagine putting your hand in that jar? Why would you say that? Why would you say that? The wingspan of the lunar moth can reach up to 11 centimeters. <sighs> Shiver. Thank you. Thank you. Gross. Hate it. Look at the size of them. Disgusting. Oh, can't I, why can't I just capture pizza? Ooh. Who the f would be this much into moths? I mean, you've got to be f***ed in the head, right? You've got to be all kinds of cooked up to be like, I love moths. You know what, what kind of creature I connect with? A moth. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Oh god, I get it! Ah! Oh god. Okay, alright, okay, alright, that's no good. That's no good at all. That's no good at all. I took off the headphones, I don't know what noise that was. <clears throat> alright, that was sick. That was sick and messed up. I'm just gonna try and capture as many of these as I can. I didn't like that. I just need a second. Just a second to breathe. <clears throat> we fully went past, we, we went well past spine shivers then. Straight to wishing I was dead. Oh, they're all over the roof. Nobody told me that. Shh. Do moths do the whole cocoon thing? I mean, you would think so, right? I mean, it's it's probably obvious. Everyone else in the world is probably like, yeah, of course they use they 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 get to a cocoon. But what what becomes moths? Because I know like a caterpillar will become a, a, a butterfly. But what becomes a moth? A moths and butterflies the same thing basically? Is it just cat? Some caterpillars become moths. These might be stupid questions. But I also I, I like. I'm trying to use logic here and make an educated guess, but I've never seen a moth cocoon. <laughs> this is sick. This is sick in the head. God, if that thing comes to me again, I don't know what I'm going to do because I wasn't faster than it. I'm not sure what these are. I wish it would tell me. I wish it'd go, oh, you just caught 13. Who's that Pokemon? It's the Pokemon. Pokemon. Who's that it's, it isn't okay, right? There's got to be other people out there like me who find all of this just horrifying. Oh, God. God, what is that? Just, all right, let's take a pause. I just, I'm really, I'm having a very difficult time. But it's only 20 minutes to half an hour and I've been, oh, I just saw the recording time. That's not long enough. I'm fully expecting to come into one of these rooms and there's like a moth man asleep on the bed or something. Hi Paul, it turns out the lingua moths has many abilities besides speaking human language. They are capable of, so I have to report that I'm going, to, I'm not sure if I'll be back from there. All right, so there is a moth species that speaks English in this house. So when I turn my light off, does it do sh You sick f Ah, oh God, dude. headphones are off, headphones are off, eyes are closed, headphones are off, eyes are closed. Recipe, cook. Take, what's this? What do I do with the recipe? Shove it up your butt. I really wanna be done with this, guys. I'm not having a good time. What is it? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh god. This is the worst. This is the worst. Oh no! Oh, I, I'm closing. I've closed my eyes. My eyes are closed. I'm not looking. I literally can't look at it. I can't f look at it. Headphones are off. Eyes are closed. What's happening? What's happening? All right, I'm putting the headphones back on. I'm gonna keep my eyes shut. Oh God, oh my God. I can hear stuff. All right, I'm, 
I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open my eyes. What am I looking at? Hello, human. I'm the Moth King's helper. You see, the king can't speak like a human. The king needs to be fed urgently, and with normal food, he needs soup. Moth soup. Oh, I have soup. Thank you so much for feeding the Moth King. He really liked your soups. So he has powers, and we can finally leave this old house and find ourselves yourself another place where this is normal food. What? So he has powers, and we can finally leave this old house and find yourself another place where there is normal food. I was glad to meet you, but we have to go. Goodbye. I have to go now. My planet needs me. No. Imagine if that really existed. Moth House. A game by Ken Forrest. At Andre Bugrin. Andre Bugrin? You're a cunkerin. A cut. You're a c